I appreciate that. I appreciate you being in a good mood. It was a difficult week, very depressing week. I'm sure you saw Hamas, the terrorist group that runs Gaza, um, broke in Israel, killed over 1,300 people, men, women, and children. And then the college kids in America <laughs> went full Trump and said, there's very fine people on both sides. <laughs> What is going on? 34 uh, Harvard uh, Association, student association, signed a letter that basically threw their lot in with the killers. Uh, but there was a backlash because some CEOs said, when these kids now go for a job, they're going to be blacklisted. And And a lot of the students are still standing by their position to support the war criminals, but they strenuously object to the word blacklist. <laughs> Even Kanye said, that is some anti-Semitic bullshit. Right <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then there's the Democratic Socialists of America. I didn't really, wasn't aware of these people, but uh, they exist, and I, I'm not sure I'm with, with them. Uh, the Connecticut chapter uh, put out a statement. They said, no peace on stolen land. Uh, this is from Connecticut. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, an Indian word that means that land you stole. So, you know. And by the way, it's not stolen land. Okay? Not stolen land. Uh, <laughs> so, yes. And then I, I heard about this other person I was not aware of before. Porn star Mia Khalifa uh, also rejoiced in the killing. Uh, she said uh, they should turn their phones horizontal so she could see the carnage in, in 4K, uh, proving that you literally can have your brains fucked out. Uh, man, <laughs> where is Donald Trump when you need someone to pay a porn star to shut the fuck up? Yes, I'm, I'm learning about Mia Khalifa. She apparently is famous for giving a blowjob and a hijab. <laughs> I'm not kidding. Really did that. I, I, I wonder if you know this, Mia, that if you tried to practice your trade in Gaza, I'm not sure they would give you a warm welcome. <laughs> uh, no, they would, because you'd be on fire, you nitwit. <laughs> But, of course, now everyone in Israel is asking, how did this devastating breach of security even happen? Why did Israeli intelligence not get an idea that this was coming? Why did American intelligence not know this? And Marjorie Taylor Greene said, where were the space lasers? 